I think this is a tough question is how do I deal with disruptive players. I think if you've coached long enough, you're going to run into that situation where you do have a child that interferes with practice um, or a game. And when you set expectations in the first practice, there's a parent meeting in the first practice, expectation is that you are pay attention when the coach is talking. If one of your teammates is talking, you're listening as well and that you need to make sure you can stay in your own personal space, especially for the young kids. Um, but if you are disruptive, that the first thing that happens is you'll sit out. And you can allow the child to come in when they're ready to come in. The second time they're disruptive, they sit out, and they get to come back in when the coach decides. The third time they're disruptive, the child sits out, and that's where they stay until the end of practice. And then it's a discussion that you need to have with the parents. Um, that that's unacceptable. And as long as you set that in the first day, what is acceptable, what is unacceptable, uh, the parents will know and the kids will know as well. So take away the fun, and then hopefully they smile and come back and they learn to enjoy the game as well.